our next topic is suspension system so first of all what is suspension system okay suspension is the term given to the system of spring shock absorbers and linkages that connect a vehicle to its wheels okay serve a dual purpose contributing to the car's handling and braking protects the vehicle itself and any cargo or luggage from damage and wear right so that is simple suspension system next uh, we have to see that a simple suspension system in this suspension system we have to see that a two types of suspension system is here that is called uh, coil spring and a lip spring we have to see that a uh, coil spring suspension system in this uh, there are a coil spring or stabilizer okay then shock absorber are also attached in this coil spring suspension system okay then a lip spring suspension system we have to see that a uh, lip spring also attached and shock absorber are also attached in this suspension system means there are more than two suspension uh, systems are attached in a uh, one vehicle okay so we have to see that that uh, shock absorber or a coil spring are connected with the help of mountings okay and also in a lip spring they are mounted with the help of shackles right front shackles or a rear shackles okay so that is simple suspension system next suspension construction okay so we have to see that in this diagram or a picture that there is a different types of suspension systems are in this uh, suspension construction right so firstly coil spring suspension we have to see in this diagram okay coil spring okay this is a coil spring suspension uh, this is a coil spring suspension system then a st uh, strut rod right this is a strut rod suspension system then simple uh, transverse rods suspension system then shock absorber suspension system then uh, control arm and also a simple drum is connected to your shaft right so the uh, construction system uh, sorry construction of suspension system is in mounted between the uh, wheel and your uh, simple mountings on your uh, wheel side right because the uh, shocks are absorbed with the help of this Uh, suspension systems then next purpose of suspension system okay there are different types of purposes in suspension system so one by one we have get it supports the weight right in vehicle there are different types of load acting on a vehicle so that load is support the suspension system then next provide a smooth ride right for the uh, smooth ride the suspension system is needed right uh, means uh, when there is a road right uh, surface is okay right but the in the surface of road there are bumps or uh, uh, any kind of roads are khadde jar astil right tar tya ves tumhala smooth ride milnar nahi right milel pan tumche jar suspension system nasel tya prakare tar tumhala ti smooth ride milnar nahi allow rapid cornering without extreme body roll right for the uh uh sharp corning or rapid rolling sathi tumhala suspension system ki garaj padte keep tires in firm contact with the roads right for the contact of road tire to road there was there was a needed of suspension system allow front wheels to turn side to side for steering right then next works with the steering system to keep the wheel in correct alignment right means uh, when we have studied or we have see that the steering system then that the current correct alignment in uh, in your vehicle is needed isolate passenger and cargo from vibration and shocks right these are the simple main uh, main purpose of the suspension system then next simple uh types of suspension system in this suspension system there are mainly four types of suspension system 
conventional suspension system independent suspension system air suspension system and hydrolastic suspension system these are the mainly four types of suspension system then next uh, one by one we have gated uh, non independent suspension it has both right and left wheels attached to the same solid axle right non independent axles means it has both right and left wheel attached to the same solid uh, solid axle right when one wheel hits a bump in the road its upward movement causes it causes a slight tilt of a other wheels okay so there is a simple non independent suspension system then independent suspension system independent suspension is a broad term for any automobile suspension system that allows each wheel on the side axle to move vertically independent of each other right the wheel is uh, uh, freely move in a independently to upward surge upward direction that is simple independent suspension system then next is types of suspension system we have to see that then there is a different types of suspension system air suspension system hydrostatic suspension system pneumatic suspension system right so uh, in air suspension system it is used in place of conventional steel spring in passenger cars and heavy vehicles applications such as buses and trucks the next is hydro hydrolastic suspension system the system replace the separate spring and damper of a conventional suspension system which are interconnected between the front and rear wheels on each side of the vehicle okay then there is a simple types of suspension system in this right uh, spring suspension system independent suspension system hydrolastic suspension system stabilizer or anti bar suspension system hydraulic or sorry air air or pneumatic suspension system and shock absorber right so one by one we are getting uh, in spring right there are two type main two types that is fill uh, st steel spring and also a rubber spring right in steel spring there are a lip spring tapered lip spring coil spring or torsion bar in a spring right there are mainly four sub types are lip spring tapered lip spring coil spring and torsion bar okay <coughs> in rubber spring there are a compression spring compression shear spring steel reinforced spring progressive spring face shear spring torsional shear spring right in rubber spring then independent suspension system in this uh, wishbone uh, wishbone type suspension system macpherson stud type vertical guide type trailing link type then swinging half axle in shock absorber telescopic shock absorber lever arm type shock absorber then in a air or pneumatic suspension system in air spring uh, bellow type or piston type of suspension system are in your suspension system so these are the simple uh, suspension mechanism and also types of suspension system we have to see that in this uh, simple way 